Well, today's the day that I'm going to neaten up the back of the bike a bit, or start to. I'll delete all the parts I don't need, um, remove some hoses, and yeah, just simplify it down a little bit so I can try and make some sort of plan of attack. Also, I've got to try and see if these rear fairings fit. And so the blow valve and all that's plumbing, that's first to come off. Quick, All the old quick shifter stuff that I was talking about before is what I'm going to take off next, because that's everywhere. It's just both sides of the bike and these scotch locks, I think, are part of that. So let's get rid of that. It's first haircut. So under this bracket is one of the first quick shifter modules that you could buy. So basically that's the on and off switch. This was the, um, the kill time. So you could just adjust the dial how long you'd like it to, to kill the engine for. So yeah, they did a great job for what they were, for how long ago they were made. And yeah, we sold quite a few of those at our shop. Thanks for the good times, mate. The new panels that I bought ages ago have just been sitting up in the roof of my shed just collecting dust. So hopefully they're in good nick under the dust and I'll clean them up so I can see how much room I've got to work with for the wiring. I just used some WD-40 to get the heavy dusty stuff off them. They'll need to polish up but nah, they're good. The panel fits on pretty good. I can see it just touches on the ignition coil and also on the fuel pressure regulator adjuster bolt. So I'll have to see if I can mount that up a bit better. Then I'll know where the ignition coil wires are going to run to. I might need to move the coils basically. Well, there's a new panel buried under all that dust. Yeah, they'll look pretty good back on there. But first, I need to move some more gear as usual. So, the fuse box is in the wrong spot. He must have been just stuffed in there. Um, I might see if that fuse box will fit up near the ECU and just extend the wires later. I'm trying to put the fuse box under this bracket where my quick shifter module used to live. Um, so this fairing hopefully will clear it. It looks like it's pretty good. As long as I can get my electrical connector on there, I'll be laughing. I just checked the rider seat to make sure it doesn't interfere with where my wiring connector is going to go. These little hooks are where the pillion seat lock in. So they're miles away as well. This connector for the fuse box is what I'll be extending first. Because he just doesn't reach. So that loom's good, just needs to be extended. I don't know what the hell's going on here. So I'll get the workshop manual out and nut it out. That's a piece of the puzzle there. Just need to figure out where all the wires go and what's important and what I've already deleted out of the bike. So these front coils that seem to push the bodywork out, I thought, oh, I'll just put them on the inside of this frame rail. And why didn't I think of that before? And then I checked out the fuel pump. I put him back in and that was the reason why. Like it just would block the fuel pump area off. So I wouldn't be able to get my hoses on. So I'm glad I didn't wire all that up. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll mount them up here like even if it's just a couple of them just to have it so the bodywork fits on properly with the wiring it seems that you start in one spot and you end up somewhere completely different so you know I've started at the coils here now I've got to end up mounting them up the front here which means all this wiring's in the wrong spot to mount the coil on this side 
So yeah, feels like I'm all over the shop.